I've got a whole foot page dedicated to my feet. I've got a whole foot community. Is it? Yeah, you're talking to the goddess you are of wow. feet. That's who you're talking to right now. What happens when you mix blind dating with speed dating? One dater will have 30 minutes to secure a blind date. Don't like your date? Electrocute them. <laughs> Feeling the vibe? Then go for the reveal. You seem to be a swift talker. Let's see who will secure a bay. What are you doing next weekend? And who will be leaving alone today? My name's Lars. Um, my real name's Lorraine, but everybody seems to know me as Lars. I'm 25 and I work through social media mainly. That's where people probably recognise me from. I'm a mum also. My dating life's been very up and down, chaotic actually. Dating somebody with a high profile has definitely affected my dating life because I feel like people assume that I only go for those type of guys but that's not the case like whether you're famous or you're not and you've got a nine to five. I don't mind. I've dated guys that have a nine to five. I'm open. I have to find you attractive but because this is a blind date I'm gonna probably be going based off vibes and how you make me feel. So I'm ready to find a potential. Let's see how it goes. My name is Aki. I'm 24. I'm from London. Um, I'm a content creator, I'm a footballer, I'm also a business owner. I'm a man that does a lot of things, I'm a very busy man, and I'm quite picky in the type of girl that I want. What actually keeps me and makes me think, ooh, rah, like, I want to wife this girl, is her mindset. I like a girl who's ambitious, confident, knows what she wants. I don't look for love. I'm one of those guys, like, if it comes, it comes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here to just see if we connect, if we have a vibe, and if it goes further than that, then that's good, you know what I'm saying? Hi. Hello. How are you? How's your day going? It's been good. How's your day been? It's been good, but well, I think it's going to get better now. Oh, really? Why is that? Because you're here with me. Oh, amazing. That's yeah. Nice. What's your name? Um, my name's Lorraine. Lorraine? Yeah. What's your name? My name is Aki. Like Aki and Saltfish Aki? Oh, yeah. I've heard oh. that how many times? So many times. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Got to be more creative than that. Um, what country are you from? Um, I want to make you guess, but it might be hard because there's not much to actually work with, you know what I'm saying? Well, I guess anyway. Is it somewhere in Africa? Yeah, yeah. Um, does it begin with G? What, are you thinking Ghana? I'm thinking Gambia, you know. Gambia? Oh yeah, what's nah, from the Gambia? Not, it's not Gambia, but it's West African though, so that's making it easier for you. Um, is it really? Because I'm not good at geography, so I don't know if it is making it easy. Can you just say, please? You sound like you're from the Caribbean. But anyways, I'll tell you, I'm Nigerian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. The land of the angels. The land of the demons, <laughs> I think. I don't know nah. about angels. Um, yeah, I Can't am Caribbean. Really. Uh, what country exactly are you from? Um, Jamaica. The Jamaican. Okay, yeah. Are you from Birmingham? I'm not actually from Birmingham. I'm from somewhere that's not too far from Birmingham. Yeah, but I can tell by your accent. Yeah, the accent gives it away. Yeah, I was going to say, what do you do? So, I work through social media, okay. content creating and things like that, yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm a content creator as well, also a business owner and a footballer, so I do quite a bit. Okay, rate your chat up game out of 10. You know what, I bounce off your energy in it, whatever vibe you're giving me is like, I bounce off that, I feed off that, you know what I'm saying? So if you come with energy, I'll match that, I'll even double it. Confident. What would you say most women love about you? There's a lot of things actually, it's a long list. My charisma, I'm kind hearted, I'm a good listener. I also give great advice as well. And I teach them a lot as well. I like to think of myself as quite an intelligent person. How old are you? How old am I? I'm 24. How old are you? I'm 25, soon to be 26. Yeah, you're not that much older. Yeah, but I tend to date older than me, so I know that you're not that much younger than me, but I like older men. Why? What is it that they give that I can't give? Um, well, I'm a mom, number one. Okay. So I just feel like I don't want to expect a guy that's younger than me to step up and be a stepdad. Like, I just feel like that might be a lot for some people. So do you expect the guy that you're with to step up to be a stepdad? Um, not straight away, of course, because not everyone's going to meet my daughter. But, I mean, if you're going to be with me, me and my daughter come as a package deal, so it's not one without the other. Like, if we got to that level, but it's, it's early stages. What, what about your daughter's uh, father? Like, is he in your life? Is he in her life? What's going on? That's um, it's too personal, Aki. No too problem. personal. No problem. It's whole time, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think there's, the odds are stacked against me. I was the first guy. <laughs> Don't look at me up and down like that. <laughs> and it was going all right. It was not too bad until I mentioned my age. I don't remember the last time my age has ever cock-blocked me. Ever. Like, it's been so long that 
it caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting it, do you know what I'm saying? But if I'm being honest though, like her energy was a bit off, it was a bit dry, do you know what I'm saying? So for that reason alone, if I was in her position, I'd have probably buzzed her off. He's, he wasn't really for me. He had a nice person, I just hear things like that, but I feel like, you know, talking about things to do with like the relationship with the father of my child. Too personal, it's early days for that. I've only known you for literally five minutes. What nice guy though. Hi guys, it's Laz here. If you would like to be involved in the next season of Back to Back, click the link below to be part of the Word on the Curve community. Uh, my name is Jeff. Um, well, my name is Jeff Farah, everyone calls me Jeff. I'm looking for a nice, beautiful woman so I can take care of her and then you can take care of me. I'm at the age of 28, so I'm trying to take things more seriously. I've been in the dating scene for a while, you know, I mean, messed up, but I did what I need to do, but now I'm more serious and I'm definitely looking for someone that's on my page and just see where it goes. You're going to break the ice or...? Yeah, so my name is Jeff. What's your name? My name's Lorraine. Nice to meet you, my dear. So what do you do? I'm a content creator on social media. Yourself? Yeah, um, I work in the hospital. Um, I'm a patient licensing officer. I've been in the NHS working for the last six years. Okay. And in my spare time, I write poetry. I'm a published author as also. Can you tell me a little bit more about your work, like what you do? So funny enough, um, it's like um, I deal with patients. So I take the patients out of the um, ambulances and I take them into the A&E department. Okay. And I do the same thing back and forth. So, okay. Yeah, I've been, I've been doing that for like five, six years now. How old are you? 28. 28. And how yeah. tall are you? I'm not as tall, but I'm 5'8". <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we're brother and sister then. 5'8". Yeah, unfortunately. I'm 5'7". No. Jeff, you've really upset me. I like to wear heels. Oh, goodness. It's nothing less than six inches. I'm going to be looking down on you. But, I mean, I hate what you're saying, but sometimes height doesn't... It was just about everything, you know? It doesn't, but I just feel like if we're walking down the road, I don't want people to think that you're like, oh, my second child, Jeff. <laughs> like, the hell? Oh, my God. I'm really upset about that. And what country are you from? I'm from Jamaica. Yourself? I'm from Jamaica also. You see what I mean? We're on the same page right now. Yeah, but <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay. Do you always date, like, Jamaican women or...? I like black girls, so... Okay. The lightest to the darkest, so... Okay. Tell me one of your fetishes. Um, I like feet, so foot fetish. Oh, amazing. Oh, you like that, yeah? <laughs> I've got a whole foot page dedicated to my feet. I've got a whole foot community. Is it? Yeah, you're talking to the goddess you are of Wow. Feet. That's who you're talking to right now, so. Okay, well, see, you see the height <laughs> thing is not there, but everything else is going smoothly now. So would you rub my feet or would you suck my feet? Both. Wow. You, <laughs> you like all that, yeah? I do, but your height's still scaring me. Oh, goodness. What's your favourite position in, in the bedroom? It's got to be doggy. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Leave. That hurts now. I don't like that. No, I don't like that. Missionary all the way. It was really good. Um, I wish it lasted longer. See, you look how beautiful she is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Because she's definitely my type. Um, all the questions she asked me was, I was really interested. I really wanted to ask her some questions myself a bit more, but... No, not for me at all. His height is just too short for me, I'm afraid. I like guys who are tall, because I'm quite... I wouldn't say I'm tall, but I'm, I've got height on me, so I can't be dealing with anybody that's close to my height. Do you know what it is? I understand for girls, girls naturally like guys that are taller than them, or much taller than them, like six foot over, but sometimes height is not the fit issue, you know, like... There's other things that I could have done to her nicer, proper nicer, but is what it is, you know, what can we do? Hi guys, it's Laz here again, and if you're enjoying this episode of Back to Back, make sure to like and subscribe. Hi, I'm Q, I'm a DJ entrepreneur as well. I own a brand called We Outside London. You don't know, because we're always outside. Finding love in London is hard, because everyone's mad, so I don't know if I'm here to find love, but I'm here to have a good time. Hi. Hello. How you doing, you okay? I'm good, thanks, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What's your name? Lorraine, and yours? Q. Q. Like letter Q. Okay, interesting. I mean, it's not my government name, but that's what. What's your government name? Olu. Olu. Okay, and where are you from, Olu? I'm from Croydon. Croydon. Yeah, or well, South South London. Arguably, sorry. Okay, <laughs> and I'm from the West Midlands. Have you ever been down there to like Birmingham sides? You know what's mad? I went to Union Coventry. Oh really? To so, study what? Um, computer science. Okay, and so how I was old there for you? about like six years. I'm 31. And then what do you do for work? Um, a few things. My nine to five, I work as a IT consultant. Okay. And obviously my creative hustle, I'm a DJ. I also own a brand called We Outside London. So 
Yeah, do a few things. What do you do yourself? Um, I work through social media. I'm a content creator. Dope. Yeah. Do you enjoy it? I do, actually. You mentioned that you're 31. Yeah. Have you got any kids? Yeah, I got a daughter. Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you have any kids? I do. I've got a daughter. She's one and a half. Oh, sick. So you just had the start of your journey, basically, as a parent. Exactly. And how old is your daughter? She's 10. Oh, she's a big girl, yeah, then. Yeah, I'm a veteran in this parenting thing. <laughs> oh, okay. So how do you find being a parent and being a content creator? Because obviously I feel like it's very contrasting experiences, obviously. You have to be in front of the camera, I guess, and then having a child. What does that feel like? Um, I feel like it works better for me because I'm flexible. I can spend more time with my daughter. So it works out better for me, actually. How have you found being a father and having a young daughter? It's calm because obviously my nine to five, I'm a single parent as well. So I look after my daughter. I'm the primary care of my daughter. So she lives with me and all of that jazz. It works out because I do my nine to five and then I'll DJ on the weekend. And she gets to like see what life in the creative world is kind of like as well, which is kind of cool. Okay, do you like toes? Yeah, I don't have an issue with toes. You hesitated? No, I don't have an issue whatsoever. So have you ever sucked toes? I have. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. And I... why not? You know what I found out today? What? The closest part of something, something in the brain, in terms of pleasure, is your toes. When's the last time you sucked toes? <laughs> it's been a long time. At least three years. Okay. Um, what would you say is the freakiest thing you've ever done? <sighs> What counts as freaky? I don't know. The car? Is that freaky? The car? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> the car? That's just the norm. You can do a lot of things in the boot. In the boot? <laughs> Am I shopping? I mean, the day was short. It's probably the shortest day I've ever been on, to be honest, because my day definitely lasts longer than five, ten minutes. But the day was all right. Um, I feel like we kind of hit off. We both have kids. Well, we both have uh, a child. So it was common ground. We had a good conversation. Mm. It was going well. I like the fact that he's got a child and stuff, so he'll understand as a parent we don't have a lot of time like that. I got buzzed off because apparently I'm not freaky enough, but listen, freaky is subjective. I'm not going to start talking all the I've done because the internet's big. You know what I'm saying? You want to find out how freaky I am? You know what to do. But I can be quite freaky when I'm ready, so when you're telling me that the car boot is the freakiest thing you've done for me. Yeah, we're not really on the same level. You're not really on what I'm on. What's going on, guys? Kirsty here from Widen the Curve, and I'm here with Nods. Hi, guys. And the whole team. Oh that is right. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Back to Back. But we have a quick favor to ask. Yes, we do. Now, Word on the Curve is building the UK's biggest online community for creative opportunities. We need you to get involved. By signing up, you'll get priority access for getting casted into shows just like this. You'll also get exclusive access to Word on the Curb events and networking opportunities. And finally, you can get paid for your opinions. <laughs> <laughs> finally, you'll have weekly opportunities to get paid for your opinions via surveys and focus groups. Making these shows is not cheap, and the only way we can fund them is by you getting involved. So click the link below and sign up. All right, guys, do what he says and make sure you enjoy the rest of the episode. Peace. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Don't know, big canaver. Add it all hits to the end. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you're slow. But yeah, we're on the curb, back to back. What's going to be fun? I'm looking for love. I like long walks on the beach. I'm a Libra. Yeah, man, I'm here to find the love of my life. I'm capping, bro. I'm here. To f I want a buff thing with Nyash. That's what man's here for, bro. God, God, thing bad, isn't it? What? Hello. Hi, you alright? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. Oh, accent. I hear that. You like an accent? I do still. Where are you from? London. Where are you from? Bram. I'm not actually from Birmingham, but I'm from a place that's not far from there. How far is not far? Where are you from? Like 20 minutes, a place called Wolverhampton. Oh, you're from Wolves? Okay, cool. Yeah, that's have you that. been there before? Nah, but obviously, I'm like a mad football fan, so. Okay. Wolves, so, yeah. so the accents turn you on? Yeah, you can say that. I like different, man. Different's good. I can't hear London every every single day, week, month, whatever. What's your name, by the way? Caniva. I like Caniven, but I'm not as bad as my name sounds. Caniven. Caniva. Caniva? Yeah. What's your name? I'm getting red flags. My name's Lorraine. That's Lorraine nice and Caniva. I'm not sure. My friends might laugh. They won't like laugh. Lorraine, what's going on? Obviously, I've got a government name, so that works as well. What's your government name? 
We'll see how far this date goes and then we'll see if I can tell you. Whatever. Um, what else turned you on? I like smart, strong women. Okay. Yeah. Anything else? Um, a woman who's not scared to be dominated in bed, but outside, just like... <laughs> Submissive. Yeah, I like a woman that's submissive in bed, but not outside of the bedroom. So outside the bedroom, she's like so strong that like no one could ever dominate me. But when she gets to the bed, it's like fully submissive. Okay, and how old are you? 29, how old are you? I'm 25. Okay, 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 okay. What do you do for a living? Um, I work on social media, so I'm a content creator. Okay. But I do have a degree as well in sociology and criminology, but I don't work in my degree. Why not? Um, I just feel like I fell into the root of social media. It pays, it works well for me, and because I've got a child, oh, okay, um, okay. it helps me be more like flexible, so I can spend more time with my daughter as well as working. Oh, okay, you got a daughter, okay, you're like me still. Oh, you've got a daughter? Yeah. How old is she? Daughter six. Oh, that's nice. How's your daughter? She's one and a half. Early days, man, you're good, you're good, you're calm. Are you open to dating people with kids? Yeah, of course, I've got a kid. How can I not be open if I've got a kid myself? Oh, okay. But I feel like it takes, um, a different sort of patience as well when you're dating someone with kids. Of course. Do you want more kids? Yeah, 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 hundred. I've got a big family in it, so I want a big family. What do you think about marriage? Marriage. Yeah. Are you somebody that sees that on, on the cards or no? I do see it, but I've got you got to be picky with it as well. Of course. What about you? Um, I'm open to it, but I feel like you know this generation, everyone's really unserious and stuff. Have you ever been close to marriage? No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> no. Not even close. Are you being for real? What's you your longest been... relationship? I don't know. For like four or five years. On and off? Yeah. Whose fault was it? Whose fault was it? Yeah, why was it Obviously on his. Obvious. Mm, yeah, it obviously. was. It definitely was. It is. Because you see who it is. You men don't know what you have until it's gone. Okay, so you're not going to take any accountability? I mean, there was probably room for improvement, but it solely ended because of him. Okay, what's your three biggest turn-offs? Dirty nails, bad breath, and bad teeth. I hear that still. What about you? Disrespectful to their parents is a big thing for me still. Because yeah. if that, then I mean, I don't think he was raised the way he should have been raised. That's one. Yeah. I don't like them too friendly. I can't lie. Yeah. I don't like. I don't like someone that's accessible to everyone still. Do you feel like you could deal with dating somebody that's like bait or somebody that's out there? Yeah, because I'm not p particularly indoors, if that makes sense. Oh, so you're out there yourself? A little bit. How? I make music. Oh, okay. So you're, are you a rapper? Yeah. Okay. And I'm events, I do events as well, so, so I throw parties. Are you going to do a quick freestyle or no? I could still. Might as well. All right, cool. Um, bad B want me over, sleep over. We can do it in the bed or the sofa. I dress so long, but she love act up. Now I'm in the dance looking for a chioma. Or I'm in the dance looking for a Nazraya. Or he has pink cause that backfire. When we do bap bap, she don't give me back chat. No secret, baby, I'm an admirer. When I do blue movie, not therapy. Baby one beat me like enemy. Rip close, switch pose, now we do steadily. I let her come first, let her get ahead of me. Quick dick, now she whip like old master. Then there's the menace because she got that nyash. Uh, toxic little bae, she'd give me pasta. Do it like Fredo, and I'll give her pasta. But yeah. <laughs> Quick one. All right. I feel like you've been waiting for that moment. You was really. It's my day job, man. So. I hear that. <laughs> Impressive. But I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you liked it. It means I'm doing my job right. I do. Do you have female best friends? Kind of, yeah. Are uh, they female best friends that you've penetrated first and now? No, nah, my best female best friends. friends are like my sisters. No, I'm going to ask you again. Are they female friends that you've penetrated first and you're going to introduce with them? Oh, this nah, is my friend. Nah, no, nah. I ain't got time for that. Are they actually your friends? No, nah, they're my actual friends. So you guys like haven't sisters, tried to like, nah. dibble and dabble here and there nah, on nah, a drunk nah. night out. Nah. You don't find any of them attractive. Nah. They don't find any Like of I said, my best friends are like my sisters. Okay. If, if it's not adapting, they're not your best friend. Exactly, that's why I had to ask. What about you? Sure. Do you have any male best friends? I do. I have one male best friend. He's and nothing's the... ever happened? No, he's the godfather to my daughter. Okay, okay, um, okay. We're very close. Um, and yeah, if you're going to be a part of my life, you, you'd have to get on with him because he's part of my life. I hear that. That's fair. That's fair. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. All right, cool. I've got a question. Go on. What's the worst thing that's happened to you in the bedroom? The worst thing that's worst happened thing. to me in the bedroom? Bedroom. Yeah. Um, Don't be shy now. Can you answer first and then I'll answer after? Her brother walked in and as he walked in, she tried to push the door back and slammed it in his face and broke his nose. And to this day, she can't really tell the real story of why she did that. She just had to say she was just naked and not prepared. Oh, I don't feel like I've had any experiences like that. Everything's kind of gone to plan, I'm not going to lie. I would have answered honestly. You're saying you're just keeping it safe? Oh no, but honestly, everything's gone to plan. How hmm. many people have you seen naked this year? This year? Mm -hmm. None. 
None? None. So you haven't been sexually active? No, not this year. Are you sure? 100%. How about you? Just one. Just one? Yeah. Would you rate it on a scale of one to ten? That experience seems <laughs> naked. Um, like eight. Eight? Mm -hmm. How would it have been a ten? We were, we were not really on the best of terms, you know, you just keep on going back, so it probably would have been better if it was on the best of so terms. So it was toxic yeah. fornication is what you're saying. Do you I say not say was. fornication? Do you not put the Lord's words onto me? Yeah, so uh, are you God-fearing? That's a big thing for I you. I am God-fearing. I come from a religious background. What um, religion? Have you ever heard of a Seventh-day Adventist? Yes, yes. I used to go to church with you a lot sometimes. You lot? Okay. Yeah. But it's difficult still because you lot can't watch certain like, things, things past a certain time and that. I wasn't prepared for it at the time. Exactly. You lot are like just after Jehovah's Witness. How many girls have you slept with last year? Three. Three? Yeah. Why do you sound like you don't believe me? I just feel like it's a bit unrealistic. How many people did you sleep with last year? Two. So how is two realistic? But I don't believe it for a guy though, because But why on. though? I just don't. I, just feel I could like be you, picky. You, you should... guys can't keep things in your pants. Of course we can. Obviously, it's 2020, whatever it is, 23. Equal rights and that. If you lot can be picky, we can be picky as well. I can't just put my penis in everything uh, and exactly. anything. So you have to be picky, man. What is your toxic trait in relationships? I might use sex as a weapon still. So. Ah! Oh, I just think it was alright though. Yo! Calm. I think it was decent still. So. Obviously, I got buzzed, but it was decent. I feel like me and I had. Little banter here and there, bare questions and that. Oh, sh I had an accent and I knew you still. I knew you still. I knew you still. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. When I say sex as a weapon, what I mean is, if my woman was acting up, I might like not give her sex at that time. Or if she's acting up, I may give her sex and then she remembers why she loves me so much. And then, yeah, like it could be an evil or thing, innit? That's what I mean as a sex as a weapon. Women have been doing that for so long. So what I realise, that's what women do to man them. I thought, why can't we just do it to them? And then, yeah, that's about it, really. I actually liked talking to him. Like, I felt like we bounced off each other. He was interesting. He kept the conversation um, going. I, physically, he's not my usual type. The bandanas and all that stuff's not really for me. Um, but yeah, it was nice to, to hold a conversation with, but I don't know if I'll be seeing him anytime soon. But I just feel like something's missing. I'm not fully feeling the vibe, so I just need to really feel a vibe. I'm hoping that the last one brings it home. We'll see. My name's Riddler. I'm looking for a, a, a babe that I can have fun with. You know, go out, you know, have fun, do shots, walk around London. You know, all the cute things. Right. Hello. Hello. You all right, miss? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine. Where are you from, though? You got an accent on you. Take a guess. Sound like Birmingham. Birmingham. Everyone says that. Do you not feel like there's other places other than Birmingham? Up north, Liverpool. No. It's I'm gonna Liverpool. give you one more chance. Wolves. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's close to Birmingham. Yeah, but it's a whole different city. But yeah, I'm from Wolverhampton. Oh, what's your name, by the way? Lorraine. What's yours? Riddler. That's my real name, by the way. No one ever believes it. Riddler. Yeah. And how old are you, Riddler? 28, you? 25. 25, that's a good age. It is. What country are you from? Congolese. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm frightened saying that, yeah? Because we, we, we're, we're blacklisted. I know, but I can't lie. I feel like Congolese men are really good looking. The mm. ones that I know anyway. Mm -hmm. The ones that mm -hmm. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Do you, do you speak French? A little bit. Comment to tell. Je m'appelle Lorraine. Mm. That's, the one that, that's the only thing I can say. Mm. I parle français? No, you stop now. I can't, say <laughs> <laughs> I can't say anything else. So wait, tell me what you're looking for. I don't think I'm going to say as far as love, but I'm just looking for somebody that I can kick it with, maybe catch a vibe and stuff. Do you feel like you're that person? Yeah, of course. You don't sound confident. Do you nah, feel like you're that person? I am that person, but There's I'm not just trying... Theme. Do you know what it is, yeah? I'm trying to find out, like, what, what your previous relationship was like. Like, tell me a bit more about that. Are we really going there? I don't feel like I want to talk about previous. We're in the present now, so we need to talk about the future, not the past. Do you know what I mean? Okay, cool. On a deeper level, what, what, what makes you who you are today? What makes me who I am today? Mm. Elaborate, like... Like, what, what, what do you define as for your morals, you know, like, what's really important to you in life? Um, well, my daughter, I'm a mom. Okay. Um, I recently became a mother. I've got a one and a half year old. So I look at life completely different. Have mm -hmm. you got any kids? Yeah. You've got kids? Yeah, I've got Why two. did you say that that year? I've got two. 
Two. You've got two little wonderful females. Okay, and what's your relationship with the mother of your kids? She's lovely. It's lovely right now. Right oh. now, anyways, it's not always good. Do you two still see each other like that? No, no, no. Are you sure? Because you know what they say about baby dads and baby mothers, you know, you dibble I, and dabble there. I can say the same about you. Exactly, but, but I'm asking you, do you do that? Nah. At first, it was hard. When you break up, it's hard. But then after a while, you have to find a reason. How would your friends describe you in three words? Ooh, funny, flamboyant. Flamboyant. And, yeah, flamboyant. When I mean flamboyant, like I've got confident in it. Like okay. if, we're, if we're gonna, you know, do something, let's just do it in it and get over and done with. Let's not dwell on it too much. And what's a turn off for you when it comes to women? You know what? If she's got, if she's got, if she ain't got daddy issues. Okay. Or she ain't got low iron. Low iron. Yeah, I need a tired. Oh! I have low iron. You don't oh! Gotta go. You gotta go. <laughs> what the hell? Low iron. Boy, bye. Uh, Low iron. Right, you weren't listening. This is what I mean about women. They don't always listen, but she didn't hear me properly. I like my women with daddy issues and low iron, and that's the key. And that's all I gotta say. <laughs> Actually, but... I'm a bit, I'm not sad, but you know, it would have been nice to have met somebody, but nobody was really cutting it for me, I'm not gonna lie. Like, there was good chat between everyone, but I just feel like certain things were missing. What I'm looking for is somebody that can just make me feel comfortable in being who I truly am. Um, I don't feel like my love journey ends here, guys. I'm still open to finding my Prince Charming, so we'll see how that goes.